You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tales from the Grid. In this episode, I'll be talking about the trailer highlights and breakdown. First look at Robo Rita. The Rangers have slightly updated suits. First look at the modern rad bug. This scene takes place in a cemetery. Theory could be after Trini's death. This version of Rita actually fights. They're whipping Billy's ass. Someone broke Robo Rita's face. Robo Rita tries to kill Billy. Trini sees Billy about to get hit. Trini sacrifices herself to save Billy. Robo Rita has killed Trini. Min confirms Trini's death. The time portal machine has rangers on it. Theory, Robo Rita captured or killed them. Min wants to help stop Robo Rita. A new command center. The rangers finally get inside the moon palace. Robo Rita is creating a time portal to kill the rangers before Zordon makes them rangers. Inside the time portal is the space dumpster from Day of the Dumpster. Robo Rita says, I'll kill you before Zordon makes you rangers. The red, green, and pink rangers have been captured or killed. Min knew her mom was a ranger. Alpha 5 makes an appearance. Zordon's cracked tube makes an appearance. Theory. These maps are either decoration or real-time locations of rangers. Other ranger bases are mentioned. Rangers are ordered to return due to the Bandora protocol. Cat returns. Rocky returns. The rangers are given their power coins. Zack leads the morph. The rangers are back in action. Robo Mighty Minotaur and Robo Snizzard. Villains are returning in Robo form. Rocky's whooping ass. The Rangers are putting in that work. Aisha and Adam make an appearance. Theory. SPA is either Space Patrol Alpha, Astro, or Academy. The Angel Grove Youth Center makes an appearance. Rangers are getting badly hurt even within their suits. This is incredible. The Dinozords make an appearance. The Dino Megazord makes an appearance. Min makes it to the command center. Theory, the Rangers need dinosaur power now. We get new and familiar villains. Some fans may not like that legacy villains are being rebooted in a robot form. Some fans may question the origin of these villains. Some fans may feel these villains disrupt the continuity of the show. Hasbro could capitalize off Robo Rita by reselling Rita Repulsa figures with a new head sculpt. Hasbro could make variations of Robo Rita figures by selling a version with her face intact and her face broken. Hasbro can resell figures with a robo repaint. I don't mind Robo Rita. The voice is a little iffy, but I will survive. These scenes show that the special is upping the amount of damage that could be caused by either side. Hasbro could be testing out how much of an increase in viewership or attention the brand can get if it increases the amount of damage caused by the rangers or villains. I like that the attacks result in actual damage because it heightens the stakes of the mission. Both men and Robo Rita say kill, which could possibly mean that the special will be targeted towards an older audience. Hasbro could have made this special appeal to adults so the original fans would build up hype and brand recognition. I've been wanting Hasbro, or the writers, to write for a more mature audience because the current storylines seem to be aimed at a much younger audience even though the franchise is 30 years old. It's a cool way to incorporate the Lightning Collection into the special. Fans can possibly get a look at an upcoming figure. Some fans may not like this because they may feel like it cheapens the special or that Hasbro is using the special as a commercial. Having the Lightning Collection featured in the special could be a marketing tactic to advertise to people who may not know about the Lightning Collection. I have no problem with the figures being in the special. It wouldn't be the first time that Ranger figures were shown in the show. We could possibly go back to the fan favorite episodes and see them from another perspective. Other characters may appear. The canon can possibly be rewritten to fix issues or plot points within the franchise. Some fans are complaining that time travel is a gimmick and that it cheapens the special. Using nostalgia is a safe way not to piss off fans. And nostalgia could do the heavy lifting when it comes to the writing. I am open to seeing where the special is going in terms of story. I don't mind the time travel aspect because it could be used to enhance the canon. Zack is leading the morph. Could it be possible that he and Billy are co-leading the team? Or is Billy the leader as the marketing suggests? They need to put some respect on his name. Hasbro could possibly be trying to put the Black Ranger in the forefront so they could increase his product sales. From what it seems, the Black Ranger is on the bottom of Hasbro's hierarchy as the other Rangers have more products and merch. The injuries Billy has incurred indicates that there are actual risks of bodily harm as a Ranger. 
Rocky jumping off a building to save someone is just amazing. This could possibly elevate the franchise from being viewed as a children's TV show. I like a more mature version of the show, especially because it's more exciting to see the Rangers fight for real. We get to see the Dinozords and the Dino Megazord back in action. Some fans may complain that the CGI version doesn't look good. Some fans may say they should have stuck with the original Megazord. Maybe it was cheaper to use CGI than practical effects. This was also done to the Falcon Zord in the Dimensions in Danger episode. I'm iffy on the CGI Zords because we've gotten used to the live action Dino Megazord. This Megazord is halfway between cheesy and professional, which runs the risk of displeasing both groups as it doesn't fully commit to one side. I'm still gonna watch. Men may be the Yellow Ranger, at least for the special. Men can bring in younger viewers. If all goes well, men can be the first of the next generation of Mighty Morphin. I think Charlie Kirsch is a good fit to fill the role of the Yellow Ranger if a continued series were to happen. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.